Chapter 10, Graphical User Interfaces, Part 4. So let's talk about creating drawings. Um, you cannot draw directly on a JFrame object. Instead, you construct an object and add it to the frame. So a few examples of objects to draw on are a J component, a J panel, and that should be P with an uppercase, uh, a J panel with P uppercase, J text component, and J label. Um, so you extend the J component class and override the paint component method. That is, you say public class chart component extends J component, and then inside make sure that you have a public void paint component graphics G method. So your method header must match that one exactly, and then any instructions you have for drawing would go inside that method. The paint component method is called automatically when the component is shown for the first time or when a window is resized or after being hidden. So here's an example of uh, uh, a paint component method. It fills three, it draws three filled rectangles. And you notice the j dot, g dot fill rect 0, 10, 200, 10. That would draw the filled rectangle shown in the bar chart. So it starts at um, x, y value 0, 10. So uh, 0 degree is 0 pixels from the left and 10 pixels down from the top. And it's going to be um, 200 pixels wide by 10 pixels. Uh, high. So those are the four components, x, y of the upper left hand corner, and then the width, and then the height. So x is the first argument, y is the second argument, and it is measured from the top left hand corner. And then uh, the third argument is the width, and the fourth argument is the height of the filled rectangle. So you can see how each of these method calls corresponds to a filled rectangle on the bar chart screen. We um, can have a J component object that can be added to a J frame. So we, we create the J component object, the chart component, and then we can add that to our J frame as shown here. J component component equals new chart component frame.add component. So that is that chart component we created on the previous um, slide. So the graphics parameter, the paint component method, receives an object of type graphics. The graphics object stores the graphics state, so the current color, the current font, um, and so forth, that are used for drawing operations. Graphics 2D extends the graphics class. So a graphics 2D object is a graphics object. And, but we will have to cast it, and I'll show you that in a second. Um, it provides more powerful methods for drawing 2D objects. And when using Swing, those are the, the JavaX.Swing library, the graphics parameter actually is of type graphics 2D. So we need to cast it. So here's what that looks like. If we pass in a, a parameter of type graphics, we can convert that to a graphics 2D object by casting it. So look inside the paint component method shown in gray. See where it says graphics 2D G2. That's going to be the reference for our graphics 2D objects. Jo object equals graphics 2D in parentheses. That's how we do a type cast, which you probably remember from chapter two. And then to the right of that, we have the um, uh, variable that we are casting, in this case G. So the, the variable G, which is of type graphics, will be cast to a graphics 2D object. Ellipses are drawn in a bounding box, the same way that you specify a rectangle. So when you are drawing an ellipses, you specify the four arguments that you would draw for, uh, that you would use for a, a rectangle. X, Y, which is the upper left hand corner of the bounding box, the width of the bounding box, and the height of the bounding box. And that will enable it to draw an oval um, inside that box, inside that area. To draw text, we use the draw string method from the graphics class. And we specify the string, what is it we want to draw. And then we specify the base point, the x and y coordinates. So the baseline is the y coordinate of the base point. So 
Notice that our base point is the bottom left-hand corner, not the upper right, left-hand corner as we've seen in others uh, it, with the uh, graphics. So the bottom left-hand corner and um, uh, it, the X is still 50 and the Y is 100, but that is the bottom, not the top. Using color, all shapes and strings are drawn with a black pen and a white fill by default, but we can change it by using the set color um, method. The set color method of the object class uses an RGB color model where R means red, G means green, and B means blue. As you might remember from your physics class, the primary uh, pigments of light, primary colors of light are red, green, and blue. And red, green, and blue light can be combined to create any other color. The presence of um, all colors is white and the absence of all colors is black. So the presence of all light is white, the absence of all light is black. You can take a look at this table and study it. If we want to create blue, we specify zero red, zero green, but 255 blue. 255 is the largest number um, that we can store. Sorry, I, I got distracted. Uh, 255 is the largest integer uh, that you can pass to the set color method. You can also use the defined constants like color.blue to specify blue rather than um, 0, 250, 0, 255. So take a look at the g.setColor. We are setting the color of the graphics object to yellow, and then when we draw a filled oval, X will be 350, Y will be 25, the width of the bounding box of the oval will be 35, and the height will be 20. That oval will be drawn in yellow. So here's an example of a program using these uh, things we've just been talking about. I encourage you to pause the video and type this up so that you can practice with how it works and see if you can recreate that bar chart. Here's an example of uh, an, addi an, an additional application if we wanted to show um, uh, a more enhanced bar chart than we showed before. We can certainly do that. And um, the example in the book, The Application for Investment Growth, goes through that. And I encourage you to take a look at that in our textbook.